Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. Today we've got Desolation, Gunslinger, Suicidal. I wish you could jump in this. I wish you could jump in the plane and then take it for a ride. That'd be sick. Just let me in, let me in. So we talked in the in the last episode about... Uh, we talked about how I'm used to the heats. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm used to it now. And that's... Uh, that's something that 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 uh, I mean, it happens with a lot of things, right? As you as you're doing something, it builds the habits, builds the you know the, the resistance to the the negative aspects of it, and you kind of just uh, deal with it, you know. Like when you're first starting out a job that you don't like, you're like, yeah, this kind of sucks, and then uh, you uh, you do it for a few months, and you're like, eh, whatever, you know, it's a job. You know, you're not you're not like, man, this is a great job, but like, you know, you, you get up, you go to work. It's it's now now it's 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 just habit you know, and uh, kind of a bad analogy because of what I'm about to say, <laughs> but it's kind of the same thing with uh, with recording for me, you know, because uh, you know it it, it was uh, for a while it was it was really really frustrating and then uh, I think at this point I've just developed the habits so that it's just something that I do naturally, um, so I don't uh, I don't I don't see the frustrations with it so much anymore. I just I just see the good things because like I, I wake up and I'm like ah eh, I gotta record, then I start recording and I'm like yeah it was fun, <laughs> so uh, yeah it's nice it's nice to 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 have been past to the uh, the learning points and and gotten into the the habit points and making it feel good. Stop saying that it bothers me every time. Just because it reminds me of the hatred I have for the the the, the, the what is it idiom. It's an idiom, right? I think it's an idiom. I think so. You guys like popcorn? I like popcorn. Oh no. Oh no. Um, I'll go down this way. I don't like going down this way. This way terrifies me, but as long as we have a ton of stuff at our back, we should. And I repeat, we should be okay, because there shouldn't be too much spawning in front of us. So I'm not going to kill all the things at our back and just get out of here, dude. All right, we're safe. Hey, whoa. Dude, I killed like three Zeds. What are you talking about, finish the job? Hey, you too. Okay, freedom. Freedom, we've made it. See that little, you see that little uh, stop him there for a moment to get him to get hit by the grenade? You see that? You see that kind of like pro move there? Kind of backed up a little bit to stop him, to keep him from running around the corner and then getting out of the way of the grenade. It's an advanced level strat right there. That was that was me thinking on the fly to, to keep him towards that grenade. Did it work? I don't know. They died. So it either worked or it didn't need to be done, but you know what? Good move nonetheless. Yeah, boy. Oh, I wanted to get another explosion. Couldn't quite see that. Anyway, so, uh, what's he talking about? Popcorn. You guys like popcorn? I, what, do you, what do you put on your popcorn? What do, you, what do you put on your popcorn? I, I, I'm a fan of uh, a few different types of popcorn, okay? So there's the, uh, the guilty pleasure popcorn, where you put a um, an amount of uh, butter and salt on it to cause death to approximately half the population of China. You know, that's that's pretty tasty popcorn. <laughs> it's it's good popcorn, but the thing is, is you die, so it's a trade-off. But I think that's the the kind of like standard. You go to the movie, you get some popcorn, kind of popcorn. You know. Uh, obviously, I'm being hyperbolic with the amount of butter and salt to kill half the population of China, but you know, don't don't worry about it. Um, so there's that popcorn, just a classic butter and salt kind of popcorn, right? But you can get you can get fancy with it, okay? You can get fancy with it. You ever had uh, you ever had like seasoning salt? A little bit of that. Just a little bit, not much. Just a little bit. It adds it adds a uh, 
like a, a weird smokiness kind of thing to it. I mean, depending on the season salt you get, but you know, it adds it adds like a, a weird kind of smoky stuff to it, and uh, it's good, you know. It's good. Um, you got. Uh, What's, what's another combination? You got caramel popcorn. You can coat the popcorn in caramel. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. I don't make that one too often. I mean, I've never made it. My sister has made it once. And uh, I liked it a lot. And I buy it at the um, the popcorn store. Um, every so often. As in, in the last year, I've had it twice. I mean, look, it's a lot of sugar. You don't really want to be eating that often. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of sugar. Um, but... Uh, you got caramel popcorn. Caramel popcorn's good. Like caramel popcorn. Um, let's see what else you got. Oh, you got the Alton Brown popcorn. You know, you got the Alton Brown popcorn. It's uh, a little bit of fresh thyme and some rosemary. Just a little bit. A little bit popped on there. It gives it a nice herby bit to it. And it's, uh, it's quite tasty, actually. Um... Let's see, let's see. Oh, you got uh, you got like um, kind of like a fresher kind of stuff. I put uh, yeah, pop it in a little bit of sunflower oil, and then uh, put some fine sea salts on it. And it gives it uh, like a hint of sweetness, a hint of saltiness, and uh, it's really really nice actually. That's that's probably it's it's probably one of, it's probably one of my favorite ways to make popcorn if I'm making popcorn for sure. I mean, it's definitely the healthiest way that I make popcorn, so it's the way that I typically tend to make it. Um, not that I make popcorn all that often, but if I'm going to make it, that that's usually my go-to, just because of the, uh, uh, you know, when, when not it's not, um, I mean, sunflower oil, I, I believe, is better than butter. I, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but I, I believe it's it's slightly better than butter in moderation. Yeah, everything in moderation. Of course, um, but I believe that sunflower oil is moderately better than butter. I don't know. Um, either way, I know that I put less sunflower oil in than I would put butter. So that's 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 the main thing for me as a as a health kind of uh, focus on it. Because you don't need much sunflower oil to to impart that uh, nice just vague sweetness into the uh, into the popcorn. You don't really need it. And. Uh, yeah, it's um, really, really nice for that reason, but um, yeah, I, li I like that. That's that's my go-to, for sure. I mean, I use sunflower oil in like everything, honestly. I love sunflower oil. I mean, I don't use it in everything. I haven't even used it in like, I don't know, a month, but I do like sunflower oil. If I'm making like, uh, if I'm roasting some veggies or something like that, a little bit of sunflower oil, you know, absolutely. Bacon fat's another fat that I use every now and then. Yeah, that's a good one. That's that's a you gotta you gotta have the right thing for that one though, right? Cause it's easy to use bacon fat in something, then all you're eating is bacon flavored like spinach or something. <laughs> you know? Not nothing too noteworthy there. Um Nothing too noteworthy. I uh, will see other other popcorn kind of uh, things that I've made. I like to try a lot of things. I've uh, I've read on the internet that if you pop, don't I don't know, you pop popcorn in bacon fat, it tastes pretty good. I tried it once. You know, I tried it. Nah, not really my thing. Not really my cup of tea. It tasted like bacon flavored popcorn, which uh, you know, if that sounds good to you. Then you'll probably like it. <laughs> if it if it sounds good, to, if bacon flavored popcorn sounds good to you, you will probably like popping popcorn in bacon fat. It will probably taste good. Doesn't really sound good to me, but like I mean, I've, I've said it before. I'm down to try pretty much anything as long as uh, it isn't like literal poop or like poison or something, you know. Um, I'm down to try pretty much anything. So I gave it a try and yeah, not really a fan. Um, Oh, cayenne on popcorn. A little bit of cayenne pepper. Give it a nice little spicy... Um, spiciness to it. That one's okay. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite for sure. 
Let's see, how else have I tried popcorn? Um... You know, dry, plain popcorn is pretty good. You, you, yeah, air pop some popcorn, even put it in like a microwavable container and just pop some popcorn that way. No, no oil or anything like that. I mean, that's that's a nice that's a nice little snack. It's it's obviously the healthiest option of all of them, but uh, it's a nice snack. Not that popcorn's particularly healthy, but like, look, if you're gonna have a snack, air popped, no oil, no salt, popcorn is is probably a, it's 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 a pretty good option, you know. If if you're gonna have a snack, that's up there on the on the on the options to take for sure. Um, we don't have an air popper anymore though, so I don't really get to do that too often. I know that you can pop it in a pan or something like that without air, without oil or anything, but it's just it's more work. <laughs> it's more work. Um, So I don't do that too often. Let's see what else. What else do you do with popcorn? Oh, I've uh, I've had uh, so there's this like popcorn shop near me. I forget what it's called, Captain Colonel or Colonels. I think I think it's just called Colonels, but I call it Captain Colonels. Um, but they uh, they sell all kinds of varieties of popcorn, and uh, they got this like one candy popcorn, which is just popcorn coated in sugar, and then like like a hard sugar, and uh, I mean look. It's popcorn coated in sugar. It tastes good. <laughs> it tastes really, really good. Um, it's just every time I go there and I look at it, I'm like, who the heck is buying this? The like, 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 I don't know. It's just that's a, it, it's a, it's an incredible amount of sugar. Okay, you get like this big old like it's a normal like movie bag of popcorn. It's just coated in sugar, and I'm like, yeesh, that is an incredible amount of sugar. Um, yeah, that's. I think that's all the popcorn that I've had. I hear that uh, nutritional yeast is pretty good on popcorn. Don't put like normal yeast. It has to be, you know, the nutritional yeast. It's like typically in the. Um, I don't know if you have like a, a vegan aisle in your, or like a uh, organics or like any of those kind of like hipster kind of aisles in your grocery store. Um. They probably got nutritional yeast in the seasonings there, <laughs> probably. Uh, it's reasonably cheap. Um, it's 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 more expensive than like, you know, white pepper or something, but it's uh, it's reasonably cheap. You can put it on popcorn if you want. It's a uh, pretty good idea. It gives it uh, some people like there's it's there's conflicting things with it. Some people say it gives it exactly that movie theater popcorny taste. Other people say that it kind of makes it have this like cheesy flavor to it, and I'm like, hmm, I don't know. Does, does it give does it give the cheesy flavor, or do we get the, or do we get the movie theater popcorn flavor? I don't know, because I'm not into cheese, you know. I'm not I'm not a big fan of cheese in general. I like uh, I like cheese in some situations, like on pizza. Cheese on pizza is pretty good. I like cheese on uh, hello. This is a great opportunity to kill a whole bunch of things. Um, I like cheese in, a, in, a, in some sandwiches. You know, if I'm having like a uh, a pulled pork sandwich, I'd like a nice slice of uh, Monterey Jack on it, some some pepper jack or something. I think fits pretty nicely. If I'm having a beef dip or something, you know, some some Swiss or Monterey Jack. I mean, Monterey Jack's my favorite cheese, <laughs> so don't blame me for putting Monterey Jack on anything. If I'm having just a uh, salami sandwich that I've toasted, I'll, uh, I'll put the salami and the cheese on before I toast it, and then let it get all melty and stuff. If I'm having a Subway sandwich, I'll take some white, uh, some white, whatever white cheese they have. Typically, it's Jack or Swiss. Um, that's pretty good. If I'm having, uh, let's see, what else? What else do I like cheese in, dude? This is too many rockets. I can normally dodge the rockets, but like when you when you throw this many at me, it's really 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 hard to, to dodge them. Um, what else is cheese good in? You can't be here anymore, okay? Okay. Um, what else is cheese good in? Oh, pasta. Cheese is good in pasta. Like Alfredo sauce is 
pretty much just milk and or is it milk or is it cream? I don't know. It's uh, some kind of milk and then Parmesan cheese. That's pretty much it. Um, you know, butter noodles are good. That's that's just butter pot, butter pepper and, and Parmesan cheese grated on top. Those are pretty good. I like that. Um, let's see. Let's see. Poutine's good. You know, cheese curds. Cheese curds on uh, on fries with gravy is really really good. Love poutine. But, uh, you know, like, I, my, my grandfather, my grandfather, my, uh, my one and only grandfather, he, uh, he will take, or at least he used to before, you know, he had, a like, almost died because of, like, heart failure and stuff, and then had to go to the hospital and was like, hey, you really gotta change your eating habits or else you're gonna die, and then he was like, well, I guess I'll make some changes, and then he, like, didn't do much, but he, he has made some changes and he doesn't eat as much cheese anymore. Um, anyway. Back uh, back in the day, he would uh, he pull out like a, a block of cheddar and just start munching on it, <laughs> you know, like just just like a solid block of, of cheddar cheese, and uh, just just munch away. And uh, my sister would uh, my sister also likes to. I mean, she doesn't take like a whole block and just munch on it. She's she's a bit more responsible than that. Um, she will hey, she'll uh, she'll like cut off a piece of cheese or whatever and have it as a snack, like if we're having cheese on something and we're already cutting it up, she'll like, you know, take a piece of cheese and munch on it, you know? I'm sure, I'm sure most people who like cheese would probably do a similar thing when they're when they're cutting up cheese. I mean, if I'm cutting up like cucumbers or something for dinner, I know I'm, I know I'm gonna munch on a couple of cucumbers. A couple slices of cucumber. Um, you know? Similar thing with cheese, I assume, if you like cheese. But, like that kind of stuff, just, just taking like a piece of cheese and just munching on it, I just... For me, I really can't get into that. I think that it's just terribly disgusting. I think it's horrible, man. I know a lot of people do. I know a lot of people really like cheese. They like to just have cheese for itself. You know, cheese on crackers or something. And it's just, uh, for me, can't do it. I can't get into it. I like salami on crackers. You know, like if you if you put out like a, a spread of, uh, you know, various meats and fruits and veggies and crackers and cheeses and stuff. You know, I'll, I'm, I'm down. I am. I am. I am here for it. You know, but uh, for me, cheese has to be—I don't know—like melted, <laughs> like kind of uh, melted cheese is okay on in some cases. But like, you, you give me like a a slice of cheese and tell me to put it on a cracker with a piece of salami. I'm like, you can keep the cheese. I will take the cracker and the salami. Do you have a piece of cucumber? You know, <laughs> cucumber on crackers. Look, it's a—it's a controversial thing. Okay, cucumber on crackers. It's controversial. That's for. It's for gosh darn sure. It really is, but I love it. Okay, you give me, you give me like a, like the driest, butteriest, but also still driest cracker that uh, that you can imagine, right? And then you put like a cucumber on it, like a nice, you know, not a super thin like, you know, hey, this sushi chef cut up some cucumber, but like a, a reasonably normally sized cut piece of cucumber. You know, onto uh, onto a piece of cracker. Like, oh, I'm down, man. That's that's good stuff right there. That's good eats. You know, my sister hates it. She's highly against it. She thinks it's terrible. And I'm like, you know what? I allow you to have this this uh, this opinion. I'm uh, I'm gonna permit it. But you're wrong. You are wrong because it's delicious. I like cucumber a lot of things. I think that cucumber is a fantastic addition to a lot of things. You know, I, uh, an everything bagel, you know, an everything bagel, toasted, lightly, lightly toasted with light butter, not, not much butter, you don't want much butter on this, okay, you want, you want to keep that butter to a, to a gosh darned minimum, you just want to make sure that the, 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 the bagel isn't totally dry, you want to make sure that it's not totally dry, but you don't want to soak it, you know, you want it to be somewhat dry, still, so, so light, light butter, light, light coating of butter. Okay, just uh, the the lightest coating of butter that you can still do while still coating it with butter, right? Does that make sense? Uh, and then you apply a couple of pieces of bacon, so like I don't know, like a piece of bacon cut in half or something. Um, and then you put just some cucumbers on it, loaded up with loaded up with cucumbers, loaded up with cucumbers. Okay, and you just stick it in your mouth. I tell you, 
You're gonna stick that in your mouth and you're gonna be like... I see, I see what she was talking about. I understand. I have seen the way. Because it's so good, dude. Cucumber, it saves... Look, okay, you got... Um, it, it's, a, it's a skill I learned growing up. Because growing up I hated sauces and stuff. On my, on my sandwiches. Right? But I loved cucumbers. So... I, I kind of I kind of taught myself to skip the sauce, put on cucumbers. Now it's not like a terribly dry, crusty kind of like thing. It's nice and moist and delicious, and you get to eat a cucumber while you're at it. And it's like it's just win-win. Um, and uh, you know, I kind I kind of learned it through the uh, the necessity of of having to to eat and uh, liking sandwiches and stuff, but wanting them to be a little bit less dry. So I put cucumber on it. And I was like, wow, hold up, this is like delicious. And uh, Nowadays, I, I, I like sauces. I like various sauces. I, I'm more willing to try new things. I know you're right around the corner. Oh, you're okay. Whoa. Psh. Hello. You were right around the corner. I thought you were a little bit farther away than that, but you were like literally just right around the corner. Okay, sure. Um, so I learned I learned to, uh, to put cucumbers on my sandwiches and stuff. And uh, this this might kill me. Crouch. You can't shoot you if you're crouched. Yee boy! So I learned to put cucumbers on everything, and then uh, it really took off with me. I got a few people into it. Everybody who I've, I've, other than my sister, but she's not like a huge cucumber fan. Um, other than my sister, everybody who I've introduced to it is like, I see, I see, I see what you mean. This is good. So you know what? Next time you have the opportunity, take an everything bagel, the lightest amount of butter you can get, tiny bit of bacon, and load it up with cucumbers. I tell you, I tell you, it is, it is. Delicious. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.